So we learned quite a bit of rules and uh, patterns. How do we bring in, bring all of them together and use them? It might look at this point as there's quite a bit of information I know, but again, with practice, you will start developing these patterns. So you need to keep in mind every time you look at ranking questions or acid-base reactions, you need to look at the four factors all the time, element, inductive, resonance, and hybridization. Hybridization, keep them in mind all the time. So there are few steps on how to do them. For example, if you have a ranking question. So the first thing you want to do is you want to remember the element effect. Remember the element effect. So if I were you, I would always start with the element effect. So again, start with the element effect. And there's another thing that you need to remember is that if I have I, so Br, Cl, F, O, N, and C, that the acidity increases on the element effect. So, so here what happens is that the acidity Okay, let me erase this because it's um, like to run out of space here just quickly. So we say acidity increases along with that arrow. So then you have to ask yourself a few questions. So uh, number one is uh, look at the hydrogen ground, identify the atoms bound to the acidic hydrogen. If the hydrogens are bound to different atoms, use the periodic terms to assign relative acidity. So again, uh, look at the electronegativity. Where is the hydrogen attached to? Is it attached to an oxygen versus a nitrogen? Okay, so oxygen would be more electronegative than nitrogen, so that's the more acidic one. Uh, if two hydrogens are bound to the same atom, draw the conjugate bases and look for other points of differences. So uh, again, uh, you want to look at, uh, now if, if it's not, if it's uh, uh, the same atom, okay, so what you need to do next is you need to look at these atoms and look around, like what's in the vicinity? Is there something around that I can use? to discern, right, which one is a stronger acid from the weaker acid, stronger base from the weaker base. So ask yourself also a few more questions. Do electron withdrawing groups stabilize the conjugate base? Meaning are there any, is there an inductive effect? Are there any halogen, any electronegative atoms nearby? Is there resonance? Are there, is there hybridization? Are they different? Is the hybridization different? So let's look at this example right here. Bear with me. So if we look at the example, we want we would like to rank these in the following compounds in the order of increasing acidity. So we look at the H right here. Look at that H. And we'll look at one of these H's on the end. Why, once again, this H right here is attached to an oxygen. It's more electronegative than the carbon. So that's going to be the more acidic one, more acidic proton. So here, obviously, we see H is bonded to O. We also see that H is bonded to O. But we see H is bonded to N. Okay. Right away, here's one, right away. N has an electronegativity of three. And O has a 
So the element effect that applies here is that the more electronegative atom, the more acidic it will be. So this will be more acidic. Go back to the electronegativity. So right away, we can say that this one is the least acidic. But we still don't know enough about this, about these two. So rule one, step one, applies to this one versus these two because they are bound to different atoms. Here you have N, here you have O in each. So these are different atoms. So that's the element effect. Now the element effect may not work after the step one. So that's why you need to look at step two. Well, so what we say here is that we say that both acidic uh, protons are attached to O. But we need more information. We need more information. So again, that's why we need to draw the conjugate bases. Okay, let me draw this a little bit better. And of course, let's draw this one right here. So we have SCL, SCH2, SCH2, and an O minus. Okay. So let's look, is there a resonance? No, there's no resonance in this one, no resonance. There's no resonance in that one either. Is there hybridization difference? No. Generally that one applies to carbon, but they're both hybridized the same. Same hybridization. But is there one more? Is there an inductive effect? Well, there's none here. There's no inductive effect because we don't have any electronegative atoms bound. But this one, let's inspect it. Yes, we see something here. We see Cl, right? That's an electronegative atom. It's a halogen. So yes, so we do have the inductive effect. Well, now the inductive effect does what? Well, what happens is that the Cl stabilizes this O, this electron density on O, the conjugate base by drawing the negative charge or electron density, let's put it this way. From oxygen. Which means it's less basic more acidic so therefore we would say if we would rank them from least this would be the least so this would be the most and this would be in the middle so it would be would say moderate 
So that's how you think about it. That's how you think about this. And remember, we're going to start using this big um, skeletal structure from now on. So we're going to use them. But for now, we're, we're looking at simpler ones. But in the class, we will actually do more of these. Now let's do the other one here. Next one, same idea. If you would like to actually pause, if you actually would like to pause, And, uh, and work on it, uh, feel free to do so. So you'll watch it in the next recording 